Hi, my name's J Dub. I'm a videographer, entertainer, and I love to eat. I'm not a classically trained chef, but believe me when I say. Hey everybody, today we're going to make a dish called katsudon. Now, katsudon is a fried pork cutlet on a bed of rice. And there's a couple of ways to do it, but I'm going to show you my favorite and the most basic version of this recipe. For this dish, we will be using one egg per person, one pork cutlet per person, one cup of rice per person, and half of an onion. For the breading, we will use one quarter cup of all-purpose flour, two beaten eggs, and one cup of panko breading. For the sauce, we will be using three tablespoons of soy sauce, three tablespoons of mirin, one tablespoon of sake, or if you don't have sake, white wine, three tablespoons of sugar, and as an optional, 150 milliliters of dashi stock. Panko breading is just finely sifted bread crumbs. Uh, imagine taking bread and sifting it through a wire mesh screen. It's kind of like that. Uh, you can use regular breadcrumbs, unseasoned breadcrumbs, but this will give it a lighter texture. Now, let's get the rice ready. You should all know how to make rice by now. If not, just watch my first episode on onigiri. And don't forget to rinse your rice if you're using oriental rice. While the rice is cooking, let's get our three breading stations ready. We'll put our flour in the first spot, our egg in the middle, and our panko on the third. Lastly, we'll have a rack and tray for any loose droppings. Now why let the pork rest? Well, we want this to adhere to the meat a lot better. You could throw it right into the fryer, but a lot of the batter would actually come off. If we let it rest at least a minute, then that means that the flour, the egg, and the panko mixture will adhere to the meat a lot better. Now we're ready to cook. We'll add in one inch of cooking oil to our pan and allow it to get hot. We're looking for about 350 degrees here. You can test this with a piece of panko breading and see if it fries up quickly. Now let's get our pork slices and trim any excess fat they may have. Then we'll make shallow cuts along the meat diagonally. We're not cutting through the meat, only less than a quarter inch in. We're going to do this on both sides. Then we're going to start our dredging process. We'll cover the meat in the flour and then place it into the egg, making sure to get it into the cuts that we've made. And then finally we'll bread it all in the panko crumbs. And then we put it to one side to let it rest. We'll do that with both slices of pork. By now, our oil should be hot enough. We'll place each one in and let them cook. We're going to cook it until we have a deep golden brown color. Now the cuts we've made in the pork will help it cook a little bit faster. It will also allow us to check for doneness without actually having to cut into the meat itself. Finally, let's get the sauce prepared. Just place all the ingredients into a pan and let it come to a very low boil. Add the onions in and cook them on medium heat for about two minutes. When our meat is all cooked, we'll take it out and let it cool for just a moment. We'll cut it into three-fourths to one-inch strips and then add them to our sauce like so. And finally, we're going to take those eggs that we used for the dredge and we're going to whisk it up just a little bit more and we're going to add it to our pan. Just pour it onto the pork and into the sauce. We're going to let the egg cook most of the way. You can flip the pork if you like, but I don't usually do that. I do, however, cover it with a lid for five minutes on medium-low heat to let the egg steam and cook a bit. And by now, our rice should be done. We'll take a large bowl and fill it up two-thirds full with the rice. Then we'll add our pork, egg, onion, sauce mixture onto the top. Spoon a little bit of the sauce onto our pork and we're ready to serve it all. 
This makes a nice filling meal that may take some preparation, but it's still very easy to make for yourself or for more people. The crunchy texture of the breading mixes well with the succulent pork slice. The sweetness of the onions and the broth flavor and the rice, they all make this a wonderful dish. You know, there are a lot of donburi dishes out there. Uh, donburi meaning uh, in a bowl, usually on a bed of rice. And katsudon just happens to be one of the more popular ones, and it happens to be my favorite. In fact, when I visited Japan way back when, I pretty much ate katsudon while I was in Tokyo almost every single day, and I never got tired of it. It just has this nice comforting taste and it's hopefully a dish that you will enjoy as well.